Hi everyone, so today I'll be trying out a few of the new um, Spellbinders Club kits for March of 2024. Uh, so what I have here are the samples, of course, mine are packaged <laughs> not in any way that you're going to be receiving yours other than, you know, the wax se seals here, the beads that I'll show you in a minute. But um, these are the stencil of the month, the embossing folder of the month, the large die of the month, and the wax seal of the month. I think I'm going to put them all together today, or we're going to try some of these out. Um, I think the stencil might pair with the um, embossing folder. We will check that out. Uh, and so, yeah, these were sent free of charge from my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, you know, I did a whole unboxing of everything, so if you want to see everything and, like, me going through each item and maybe some measurements, things like that, I'll link that video in the description box. Other than that, if you're watching this, then you are able to sign up brand new if you're new to the clubs. Um, if you are already a member of the clubs, you could make changes between the 1st and the 5th um, before, you know, yours go out on the 5th. So probably 1st and the 4th, I would say <laughs> you want to make your changes. But uh, if you're new to signing up, you can sign up now. Uh, there is a blackout at the end of the month, but this is what you will be receiving. So if you sign up now, this is what you will receive, right? So it's not uh, for the next month or something like that. It's what you're, sh excuse me, it's what you're seeing right now. So for March, you'll receive March, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, so again, the embossing folder month is called Checkered Scallop. The stencil is Dynamic Backgrounds. The large die is Classic Tales. And the wax seal, I believe it's just... It's called Congrats on Your New Chapter. Now, um, again, yours will be packaged in different ways. This one, you know, is the dynamic backgrounds. And um, it's just, you know, you have this guy pretty much on its own. These two pair up with each other, and these two pair up with each other. But the design on this is very much the same design on the um, embossing folder, so I want to see about those. And then we'll go from there. So I do have the wax beads in the twilight purple again it might be a different color you receive but this is the color that I believe is for the month and your wax seal will be in a box just like it always has been packaged with a handle and everything but I just have the head and I'm gonna pop it on one of my handles that I already have because they're all interchangeable and it says you know congrats on your new chapter and it's a nice square so what I'm going to do is grab some background papers for our card base you know background and then we'll start playing with this the large die which is super cute and I'll be right back and so I have an A2 size card base and a black card base. So it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter if you're making your own. Um, I have a piece of cardstock here that I've cut to four and an eighth. Oh, I thought. <laughs> so let me cut this one more time. It is five and three eighths, but the four and an eighth was not anywhere close. If I did four and three eighths is what I did. But let's do four and one eighth. And... Again, I'm just testing this out. I don't know that they're meant to work with each other or not, so I guess we'll see that right now. And I don't know if I should do the stenciling first and then the embossing, or emboss it first and then go in with the stencil. So I think... Let's do the stenciling first. And again, they pretty much line up like this. Really cute. Adorable. So let's try that out. Um, and then do I want them to be like this? It doesn't matter, because obviously we'll turn our paper. Uh, let me get some inks and some supplies for stenciling, and we'll do that, and then we'll run it through, and we'll see, you know, if that lines up or not. Um, and then I'll just pop this guy, like, here. It is kind of wonky and stuff, so I'm just kind of placing it where I think I want it to be. Um, I'll be right back. Let's go with blue. I'm really into blue right now, so, um... Just do like a light blue and then we'll go in with the dark blue. I don't really care which one is which because, you know, it doesn't matter to me. So I'll just start with this light one. And then we'll go in with a darker blue or whatever. Really fun, whimsical colors. The examples this month are so cute, you guys. I encourage you to check them all out. Um, and you know, if you're an active club member, you do get 10% off the site every day. So if you have your membership going, you will get that and you see it in the pricing on spellbinders.com um, it doesn't come off like at the end it's just priced already with the 10% off included and you also get early access you guys to the new releases and this month is exceptional so check those out I usually don't put my videos out until they're released to the general public but if you are a active an active club member you can start checking that out um, on the first I believe so you get 10 days head start. So I'm going to take a dark, dark blue. 
And again, just play with that. I don't, you know, I'm not too picky. I like it to look stencily and fun and have variations in the color. I think that's part of the charm of a stencil. But you can definitely just do a full, complete, you know, coloring so it's very uniform, if you like. I don't like whatever's left there, I'll put down in here, give it a quick zhuzh. <laughs> That is so cool, and to me it just looks like book edges, right? Or something? It's very booky to me, <laughs> the design. So let me go wash off my stencil. I did use water-based ink. It'll rinse right off. If you're using hybrid inks, it might take a little bit more to wash it off, but uh, definitely do it as soon as you're done using them. I do get questions when people say, oh, you know, with glitter paste or glimmer paste or any kind of paste, like, is it hard to wash off? I wash them off pretty much immediately, so I don't just let it sit there and stick. Um, but I'll be right back. Okay. You can see I just rinsed them off and good to go. Again, they're plastic. Even if something sticks to them, you can still keep using it. It's not like it's damaged in any way. It just has something stuck on it. <laughs> so, okay. I have this guy. And I'm just curious to see if I line them up. And they are wonky. So, um, it could be that, you know, the part of the pattern you're trying to line up with, maybe it wasn't going to line up anyway because that's just not the spot. Because some of the lines are like a little just funky. So um, that looks really good. I mean, I'm looking at everything that I'm lining up within there and, you know, we'll try it out. So this is your standard embossing folder. So whatever your machine needs for a standard folder, <laughs> do that sandwich. Um, a lot of times I'll just use my regular old school plates. So it would be the plate and one cutting uh, plate. So sorry, the um, I always call it plate that bottom thing, but the platform, I guess. And let's see what happens, guys. You know, as you're rolling it through, sometimes it might move or whatever, or it stretches or something. So, you know, I don't know, but let's check it out. I think this is good to go, you guys. Oh my gosh, yes. I love when you can emboss and do the whole thing. Very interesting, um, just the way it looks. Like in the blue, I don't know, <laughs> it's messing with my eyes. In the blue one, I feel like I can see the embossing. This one looked almost flat, but if you look at it, it is embossed. So, very cool, but that's the back side. And there you go. So, okay, I'm just going to glue this down and we will go from there. Yay, I'm glad I, that they pair up. I didn't know. So I wasn't I sure. Stuck that down. I'll probably just put something on top of it just to hold it down, keep it nice and flat. Did it move? Did it move it? No. Okay. Um, so let's move on to creating our little um, scene. I'm going to do a stack of books, and we have a couple different inlays. I believe this one's for the tall one. Yes. So we have two different inlays for the like the taller book or bigger book and one inlay for the smaller one it's a little bit thicker super cute so you know if you want a background piece which I'm sure I will I'm gonna run this through twice I'll do one of each of the styles so one of this guy one of this guy one of this guy this one also has a little area that you can do a little oval that you can pop in there too which is cute I'll probably do like gold or something just to be fun so maybe I'll run this through like black and like brown and some of those basic colors and then maybe these guys when I run them through can be really cute colors like I use that blue background I don't know why I'm into blue right now if you guys saw the video for the small die please go check it out if you haven't seen it this little guy is so cute oh my gosh I cannot get over it but the blue has got my attention so again I'll just run this through like black and maybe it's brown right same thing with this one and then when I do my inlays I'll take like this guy and run it through like this and you definitely want to tape that down because you don't want your dies to move and when you run it through you're going to have a really nice inlaid die cut okay so i usually do the ones without the inlays first because it's easy just to keep running through and then once i get to the inlays you know you got to clean them up and let the little pieces that fall out fall out but um for now that's what i'll do and i'll be back with those i don't know if i want a book on the top so maybe we do huh just so you see what that looks like, a book that's open on the top. So let's do that. And so I'll run this through maybe some white paper and this one through black paper because this is kind of like the middle of the book and the book is open. And I'll be right back. So I have lots of things here. So let's check this out. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, so we're going to glue these guys together. So I did the inlay on this one and it came out adorable. So I'm going to put a little glue on the very edges and I'm going to pat it off because it's very delicate a lot of what's on there so I'm just going to pat that to get more glue on the back but also to pat off the excess I might have placed on there look how cute this one is so of course we'll hold that down um, this guy I'm just going to put the glue on here because it'd be easier for me and I should probably use my fine tip glue bottle but that's okay and then we have that 
center that goes right down the middle there looks very cute I mean how quick is that those two dies and it makes it really adorable book so that essentially on this one what you're supposed to do is put like the little house behind here or if you have the deluxe caboodle you can put your little um, uh, castle in there really cute so it's like the story's coming to life look at this one oh my gosh so I'm gonna get some glue on that guy and I'm just gonna pair these up and then we'll start kind of building up what we're gonna be doing I do want to run through I wanted this book to look really special uh, let me think hold on uh, yeah I did a brown background one of them and black for the other one but I couldn't remember which one I wanted which so I'm kind of in my mind having this stacked up you know something like that um, obviously the bigger one's gonna be on the top at least that's how I would stack it okay I'm gonna glue this one together with a black background that's the other inlay so we have these guys and then I'm gonna run this one through just some gold just have a little gold piece and I'll just glue it right in the center there okay, okay. I'll be right back so left my little books under some weight just to really get those smashed down again whatever you know fell out of here if you wanted to come in and put another color in there you know like some paper piecing whatever you like uh, let me get a little bit closer because from now we're just gonna be doing some other detail work here I love that purple book it's so cute I'm just trying to see how I want to stack these guys in like a fun way like that and then I'm gonna have the wax seal in here somewhere so I'm just kind of thinking about that uh, maybe a little bit higher up and I like my little stack to be a little bit crooked. I think that's fun. Or however, or I mean they can, well I would say they can go up and down, but then this book wouldn't quite work with that. But you know, do whatever you like. Um, I think I'm going to do some of the floral type things. So in this one you have trees, you know, for your little house and everything. But I'm going to take these guys and I have some glitter paper here and maybe some green paper that'd be fun so maybe I'll run it through this and then this through something like shiny green paper just something that can kind of fill in this top area and we'll have our wax seal down here so I will be right back oh gosh, guys, these are so pretty so cute so maybe something like that and we'll just tuck these in whenever we get there you know I think that's good I like threes um you know dimensionals not dimensional whatever is it you like I think for today maybe I'll do dimensional that last one I need this to be kind of flex we're gonna put our um, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit and like I said a little bit crooked like that way and maybe this one a little more this way if you guys need your book stacked one on top of the other in a better way you know go for it I wanted to be a little bit crooked and have fun with that so there you go and maybe a little more this way eh. maybe not maybe we're just gonna stack them I just want them to be a little more actually my glue is very forgiving so how about if we go this way and that way and then this way that's good okay I don't know something about it I just want to change it up okay I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind this and I'll be right back so dimensionals kind of placed down I'm not gonna push them down quite yet until I know where I want my oops yeah, let's move this over a little bit I'm just kind of lining that up so it's centered there and then we'll take these little cuties and again you can put these with some dimensionals behind them give them a little more movement if you like I'm just gonna kind of tuck those in and I'll hold them all down at the same time just a little glue here and there like that and then this last guy so cute and if you have the deluxe caboodle I mean I would definitely mix and match a whole lot of these guys because they just look like they all coordinate really well and maybe that guy can go down a little bit further there we go okay now I'm gonna push that down and I'm just gonna hold on to these for a little bit and I'll be right back okay, full disclosure I did sneak a couple of little dimensionals under here because I thought that looked cute so there you go and we're gonna finish off with our, our wax seal so let me grab my kit so we can burn that down and add it on okay so oh my gosh you guys how cute are these I can't get over it adorable uh, I'm just gonna open this guy up get my little mat here hope I have a candle that has some wick that'd be great and oh I need my handle 
And you know, I have some gold um, wax beads in this kit, and you can definitely match them, you know, together. But anyhow, if you don't know, these handles come right off, and then you can put a new one on. So there you go. And let's open this guy up. I'll do it carefully so I can still get some good pictures. <laughs> and um, I'll use probably four beads. Oh, we need our spoon, right? Um, you know, three, four, five beads. It just depends on what you like. And I think if you're new, you probably want more wax than less. So four or five beads would be better to three, four. Now let's get this guy lit up and get this right on here because I need that to start melting before my little wick goes out. Okay, uh, I'm going to give that, you know, oh, <laughs> it melts pretty quickly, guys, so maybe a minute. I'll be right back. Melting, guys, you really want it to melt down. Like, if you have little chunks that you can still see like this, you probably don't want to dip it yet because it might just obscure, like, your image or whatever it is, but... Um, we're almost there and it's shimmery too I didn't notice that because it's such a nice dark color it's hard to see it when it's in wax like this little block unless you look up close but now that it's melty and when we stamp you can see it's shimmery maybe there might still be hard to see <laughs> I can see it perfectly here okay so uh, whenever I do these guys I always like to pour them in the shape kind of of what I'm doing so like if this is square I'm gonna kind of pour this out in a basically kind of a square shape just to help me out already that center needs some more um, you know if it's oval or just a circle obviously I just drop it with the oval I kind of make it the oval shape also just helps me out but you know might help you out I don't know and I'll just come in and just kind of squeeze that out it's kind of a cold day I feel like maybe I need five I might go back and do five, guys. So I'm going to do it again because that looks like it might be lacking a little bit. Um, it really is kind of a firm <laughs> wax. Chilly out here. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Let's do five. I'm going to melt it again and we'll try it again. Well, that melts down. Let's check this one out. Yeah, four was just about there. I can remelt this just so you know. You can toss it right back in and melt it again and use it again. So that's no waste there but I'll put that to the side I'm gonna let these five melt down and I'll be back it's pretty liquid let's try it again and this time a little bit faster I was kind of taking my time last time and it started setting up is what happened so let's just get that out on our surface that should be good and get this guy right in here and five is good look at that I can see because you can see it well you can't see on this side of because <laughs> the camera angle but um you just want to have to see like wax all around that's what we're going for okay i'll be back and while this is still um hot like this i mean obviously you can keep working with it if you're done just wipe it away with a paper towel and you're good to go okay let's see what we have oh that is so pretty congrats on your new chapter and again, you can come in here with like um, a metallic marker or whatever you like. I'll probably take some of this gold. And again, you hold it to the side. You're not trying to put the very tip because it'll just mark where you don't want it to. But just holding it to the very side, you'll go over your lettering and things. And it'll just make everything pop if you would like. Otherwise, don't do that. And that's okay too. <laughs> so I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I actually made a few more. I want to show you. This one was the first one we did. Well, the second one we did <laughs> with five. This one has four and this one has five. And, you know, you just have to really let it melt down because if it is bubbling, that's too hot. Okay. If it starts bubbling, you want to stop, take it right off. But you really want to make sure it's really nice and liquid. And if it's, if it, as you're pouring it, if it's kind of setting up already, that's still too cold, even though it's melted. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to go with this one because I like the way it came out the best. And I'm just going to glue this down. Um, again, Spellbinders has some uh, double-sided stickies that are really, really good that will hold it down for you. I'm just going to use this 3-in-1 because I know it holds different types of surfaces. Um, if you want to use hot glue, you can do that. Uh, very little amount and then push it down because you don't want to obviously reheat your seal. But there you go. So that's our card for today. Um, I did use a few of the different clubs. It came together really, really well, really cute. I love that the stencil matches up with the um, 
um, embossing folder. I think that's really great. So thanks for watching, guys. I will have images for you. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.